that nigga. Get off that nigga. Get off that nigga. I've been kissing you. You've been sucking on other nigga fucking dick. You've been sucking on the fucking nigga dick. Yo, just get off that nigga right now. Get off that nigga right now. Just get off of him, Elizabeth. Get up. No. Why the fuck you cheating on me? This your shit? This your shit? Yeah. Why are you cheating on me? Answer the question. Michael. Answer the question. Me talk Why not? Answer the question. Why are you cheating on me? I don't fucking love you. Can you just leave? Why are you cheating on Just get off. Yo, what up, fellas? Y'all already know what it is. It's KC the Red Pill Alpha. Back at you fellas again with that heat. You already know. Wrist, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything. Locked to the back of the neck, head, holding it down, locking it down, submerging it down with that game. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, pipe and high status, you're going to get it down your phone into your ear, all ear candy game. Oh, yeah. Good looking out on the comments in the YouTube section. Cool. I'm with it. You already know. I got time to get back at you. I definitely get back at you. If I don't, just know that I'm busy. I'm getting other things together, you know. Get into the moolah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if you want a video topic of your choice, you want to request a video topic of your choice, for an example, talk about girls in college or whatever, how these chicks are and um, at your job, drop a donation, go to my bow section. And you'll know how to get at me. Drop a donation. Go to my bow section. You'll see everything over there on how to get at me. You're going to send me a video. Drop a donation. Go to my bow section. And you'll see how to get at me. Everything's over there. Gmail, phone number. Everything. Remember, <clears throat> like, share, subscribe. Keep me going to the YouTube and the Rip. A thousand is the goal. Let's go. Let's go. And beyond. But right now, it's a thousand. Let's get there. When they like a motherfucker, <laughs> they'll get down and dirty just like this, like you see in the video. Oh, they'll get down and dirty just like that. It, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. If they like that dude, they'll take it all away. He can be broke. He ain't got no money for a hotel room. You know, he probably ain't got no place. He's probably still staying with his mama. They'll get it in in the back of her car, y'all car. In the back of his car. You know, it doesn't matter. Women act off their emotions. And if they're emotionally evolved with the guy that they like, they'll follow him from here to off the earth. Motherfucker, earth is what they say is round, it's flat. <laughs> say Christopher Columbus thought it was flat, huh? Yeah, you fall off that motherfucker earth. They'll follow you off the earth. They don't care. That's how they are. They act out of their feelings. If they're feeling for you, if they're feeling like that they can't live without having a piece of you, they'll do anything to get it. The sad thing about it is that not all men understand this about women. And that's very crazy. So let's get to it. Fellas, a woman will do and engage in the freakiest things that's known to men. The freakiest thing that's known to mankind. He did for a motherfucker that she really admires. Oh, yeah. She can tell you whatever just to preserve a good girl image. All you got to do is pay attention to her actions and who she associates herself with. Oh, yeah. That counts just as well. Me personally... I know that the majority of them are freaks, if not all of them. The reason why they can act a certain way around their actual man and turn around and be a whore for another man is because that other man or men doesn't judge their sexual nature. He don't judge it. He let them be them. That's why they like to keep them old flings around, them guys that actually know that they're whores. They don't judge it. They're whores, they whores, and, you know, they both whores, so they don't judge one another. You dig? And 
okay, I know you got a man. That's cool, but you know how it is. We're going to do us from time to time. Yeah, you already know. That ain't no this. He ain't stopping nothing. Shit, I need him for the support. I need him to, you know, keep me grounded because I'm tired of running back and forth between these guys. Translation, he's tired of getting played, ping pong with the guys that she actually like. And they ain't liking her like that. That's all. So she'll settle for you. You'll give her that relationship. And she'll still have that guy that's playing ping pong with her to the side. And she'll still give him some pussy from time to time. Oh, yeah. She'll still fuck with him because he doesn't judge her. You get it? And you supposed to be her man. So you supposed to be judging her. She don't supposed to be doing these things. That's why she keeps it a secret and do it around the guys that actually know her. Real shit. It's crazy. It's foul. But that's how they get down. She got with you because either she needs your support or she's taking a break from being a slut, which automatically comes from her. You know, you already know that automatically comes with her playing that good girl role. When she takes a break from being a slut or she get with you because she needs your support, she's going to instantly mask herself to be a good girl. And then the further along the relationship go, she'll eventually unmask herself. And you'll see who, you know, you'll see her for who she really is. And that's that motherfucker in the back seat, riding on that pipe. That motherfucker was still up there, was it? <laughs> Man, they don't care. They don't care. <laughs> wow. The men of their past knows them very well. That's why they keep those types of dudes around, because it's no judgment there. Now, y'all see why it's always best. It's always best. To vet them out before taking them serious. You'll never know who you'll end up with, fellas. you never know who you end up with. Y'all see how nonchalant that bitch was? <clears throat> Excuse me. When she got busted cheating? That's because she never liked him. She never loved him. She never loved him or she never liked him. <laughs> like he wanted her to. Actually, he loved her way more than she loved him. Or he would not be standing there demanding questions over something he basically knows the answers to. You busted her. She's telling you, I don't love you anymore. That's all she got to say to you, nonchalantly. Hmm. How many of you I want to bet she been trying to push him off? <laughs> because she didn't care. And we're going to get to that. Telling her to get off of, you know, that's crazy, bro. Telling her to get off of dude's pipe isn't going to change shit because it already happened. It's over with. It's done. You can't take that back. What you going to do? Beat her down? Kill her? Scream at her? Scream until your lungs get sore? Scream until you have no voice box no more? Huh? She's still going to do what she do, and it's already been done. Finito. Period. It's over with. This is how it go. Now, I don't know if she dropped red flags on him in the beginning of the relationship. However, the way she's not acting as if she got busted only informs me that she probably tried to push him away and he just didn't get the picture. Now y'all get what I'm saying? That's crazy. Let me run that back to you. Let me run this little something, something back to you. However, the way she's not acting as if she got busted only informs me that she probably tried to push him away and he just didn't get the picture. That's what it was. Because it's like, okay, I got caught. Fuck it. Can you go? Damn, can you go so I can finish this? That's how much she that's how much respect she got for him. Minute. Very minimal. Don't care. And the way she's letting off with her behavior only shows a man with game, such as myself. That she's been throwing those red flags in his face. He just didn't catch on. Elizabeth is not... <laughs> Elizabeth isn't hearing nothing he's saying. 
She's trying to finish busting that nut on top of that motherfucker that she really likes. She'll get it in the car. She'll get it on top of a dumpster. She'll get it in the alleyway. She'll get it whatever. Whenever. She don't give it she'll give it she'll get it wherever. She don't care. As long as it's with the motherfucker that she likes. Fellas. That's all that matters to them. Remember that. It's not your money, it's not your cars, it's not your house, it's whatever or whoever they like at that time. That's it. That's all. There's no more to it. You can keep looking, you can search high and low. That's all it is, fellas. Don't take it too personal, fellas. Whenever they go off and fuck around, they're only doing it for them and not you. Remember that. They're only doing that shit for them. To please them. They ain't doing that shit to please you. Nor hurt you. But if it busts you. You know if you bust it. Then yeah it's going to hurt you. Because you put your all into her. But if you know the game. Then it won't really hurt you. Because you already have her vetted out. And you won't put your all into her. He should have seen her from the jump coming. Because she sold him signs at the beginning. Things don't just happen right then and there fellas. It's a period of time. It's a build up. You get it? That's how I go. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. And remember to keep me going through the YouTube algorithm. A thousand is the goal. Let's go, let's go, let's go.